Guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. And today, Friday, September 6th, or December 6th, and I just got up to the farm. All the trucks are full. So now it's time to cold start this bad boy. Let's get her done. warm up, take this thing out of town and dump it. Here goes a brand new track, Kuno. So I'm gonna take this semi uptown. Pat just took off from Bellevue. Cletus is gonna follow me. We're gonna get this day rolling. There goes Cletus. In the good truck. My truck's still smoking pretty good, so I'm gonna let it warm up for a couple more minutes. He's gonna go off and go dump. He parked his inside last night, so it is a little bit warmer. But first I'm gonna fill up with fuel because it looks like I'm at an eighth of a tank. Fueling up. All right, so now I'm heading to Preston. I'm in Cletus's truck, mainly because we got to, uh, I gotta get running my grain cart. Look at how purdy this is. It's the town of Bellevue. It's beautiful guys, Bellevue, Iowa, look it up. It's even better in the fall. Alrighty, so I just unloaded onto the truck that I brought up. I'm in the grain cart right now. I'm gonna take this to Pat because he's already full. Let's get her moving. Alrighty, so I'm in the 400 Steiger. 1082 grain cart behind me. I just got the first full hopper from Pat. He was heaping full and unloaded on the go. We're gonna knock out this field. There's about probably six acres left. This 12 row, he can go about two and a half mile an hour. We need to get him a bigger combine so he can push that a little bit faster. But for the most part, unless we hit down corn, the scaring hop is doing really, really well. Yeah, you, it should, just don't drive. Uh, when you're going downhill, I'll keep an eye on it. Oh man, he is full. Flirting with cab corn right now. We'll see. Oh, we're good. It was close, but we're good. First time running grain cart in a couple weeks. This is fun. Alrighty, unloading the semi right now. This is gonna be the last one we unload on the truck on the road here. We're gonna unload the other field. We got one more corn field here. It's down the bottom, so that's where we're gonna unload. You guys will see when we get there. So this is the last load we're unloading on the on the road. And then Cletus will hop up here and take it. Load it up plump full. So now Cletus will come and take this load whenever he gets here, probably in the next five minutes. And... Hi Scott. Scott Hinchin right here with Hinchin Farms coming. Nice S680. Alrighty guys, so I got the drone up in the air right now. Let's go ahead and cut to that. I got the drone up in the air because that wants me to look at the next field and see if it's down at all. Well, this is actually one of the first times that Pat actually told me to go up, take the drone up in the air. So it's kind of kind of nice to actually have some good old functional uses for it. And if you guys hear any banging in the background, I do apologize. It's my it's my dryer. It's not doing too well. But anyway, so we are out picking my dad's corn. As you guys can, I don't know if I touched on it much before, but this is my dad's bigger field. It is 36 acres. It is mainly up on a hilltop. It's the only two farm ground, two tillable ground that my dad has is um, hilltops. I think a majority of his ground, like 280 acres are mainly timber. And there's like 66 or so tillable. So this is the smaller piece, the west piece, that like is pretty narrow, but it's long. I think it's like a mile long or so, maybe not quite a mile, but that's just kind of the thing with our area. Like um, a certain special guest of that came up to visit me two days ago found out our area, the camera does not do it justice on how steep and sketchy these hills are. Like it gets really steep. So I, w I really wish the camera could show a little better, but you can kind of see from the drone here, look, just look how wavy that stuff is. Like it's right here is not too bad. It's like a five degree slope or so, but it gets steep in some spots. That's why when some people say that we have, we oversized our equipment, and have too big tractors and stuff, it's because of these hills. Like, you would never be too careful. You can never have too much weight. You can never have too too much tractor, too much combine, anything. So that's why we have that big old 400 Steiger on that grain cart. 
So we just finished up. We actually just finished up my dad's field right about there. Well, not quite. We still got a little bit more. I was actually hoping that he would have left this little patch of corn for, as a food plot, but yeah, I'd rather have it in the bins, get, have us get paid for it so we can help pay off this farm. So this is actually, if you guys remember, I, I had two deer hunting videos. The second one actually featured these two fields. So this one that we're just about finished with, and then the next one is where I was actually standing up and I took a couple shots in. So be sure to go check that, go check that out and see if you can tell. It's actually uh, day two, if you guys are curious. But... No, this, uh, this corn actually ran pretty well. It was a little wet on the wet side. It was like 28%, and I mean, it is what it is. We, so we, we're going to take a decent amount of shrinkage, or we're not going to get full price for that wet of corn just because the elevator's got to dry it down, but hey, it is what it is. So we actually just finished up with my dad's east field. Now we're going to fold up and move down to the west field. But I had to put the drone away because I was going to go down a hill uh, with this big old load in the back doesn't look that much, but there's about 950 bushels in there So do a quick circle and then I'm going to hop on the back of that fuel tank right by that turn signal on the back of that tractor and catch the drone How neat is that? I'll tell you what it's pretty neat Alrighty, there's Pat. He just he just folded up. He's gonna head down the hill because I'm so full I'm gonna take this the long way around and not have to go down that steep wet hill I just do not want a jackknife with a full load on me. That just would not be good. Well, at least we're not on a main highway this time, but guys, we are sorry for loading on the road, but we gotta do this. It's the mid December, early to mid-December. We gotta get our crops out. So that's why we're doing it. All right, here's the field that we were in a couple nights ago. Video card will be right up here. Cows are just loving it. We gave them a bale of hay. Now they're just all over this cornfield, eating it up. These mama cows love it. They make great babies here in a couple months. Up the hill we go. Taking the spray up here was tight. I don't even think we can fit an eight row combine up the here. That folding 12 row is the only thing we can fit up there, which is kind of crazy. You can kind of see I am edge to edge. And there we are, Pat's just starting on the new field. Hopefully we can get this done shortly after dark. Get the bean head down here, switch everything over to beans, and maybe open up a field tonight. We'll see. My dad and I have to wrap a basketball game, so I gotta take off. But Nathan will be here probably shortly after I leave. Yes, we are still harvesting in mid-December. We are probably actually are we the only ones, only YouTubers still harvesting? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Some of you guys are probably wondering why do we have not corn planted in spots? Like right here, for example, why is there grass planted here and not corn? And what is that riser? So what we have here, because this farm is on a hilltop, gravity is a thing. And when rain happens, rain's going to go somewhere up on top of this hill. So it basically takes the lowest point and flows. So what we have done is all the low points have waterways. And most of them lead to dikes, which is basically a break at the end of the field. That, in an outlet, an inlet there that lets water go, but keeps the soil here. So this is the big old settling basin. And what we do every 20 years or so, when this fills up, it'll slowly, while all the dirt just build up, we'll take a dozer and push it back up the hill. With this farm and a lot of farms that we have have these, and they're really, they're handy. I mean, we wouldn't be able to farm it without, or farm it very sustainably. Because if we don't do this, so we'll go down the hill, eventually end up in water, and basically we and we lose our topsoil. And, Topsoil grows back like an inch every 500 years. Don't call me on that, I'm not sure exactly. So we don't want to lose it. And when something like that happens, we gotta get a dozer in here to fix it. Must have happened in the real big rainstorm we got this summer. Basically just blew out the dike. Awesome. Because we're opening up a field, we just pulled in this waterway. Oh, they pack an empty out in me. And he's off. Well, he was off till he miscounted. Now he's off. Bet you guys don't see this very often. See that I beam there? Yeah. The reason for that is because, and there's usually wooden posts, is because there's a big old rock right there. So if they couldn't drive a wooden post down, they had to drive an I beam in. It's overkill to hang up a fence post, but you know what? Posts are important. He is full again, which is good. So that means he's going to find me a spot to, he's gonna basically just cut forward, backed up and cut over. So a, a spot for me to drive in there and he can dump on me. It's hard for you guys to tell, but right there, that's deer damage. 
right at the corner of his head. Just trampled over. Wind can't get into that. So that is definitely deer damage. These darn things are going down tomorrow. Better believe it. Here's our food plot that we didn't get anything in this year. Kind of stinks. Oh well. That's all we bought that disc. So we can disc it up this spring and put some radishes, corn. For the most part, this field's not doing too bad. It's yielding about 160 around the outside. And as soon as you get to the top of the hill more, it'll get even better because the deer damage is heavy around the outside. But for the most part, as far as the dikes and stuff, waterways, they're holding up pretty good. There's only like one or two washouts that I'd like to get fixed too. It's called being a good steward of the land, guys. A lot of farmers do that. Ah, the outside pass is done. Only took about 45 minutes only. I'm surprised he's not gonna go back this way. That way I can load him to go, but hey, he's the one driving. So I guess again, guys, are we the last YouTuber out there harvesting right now? I don't know very many others. That folding hornet is pretty cool, how it all works. All right, now time to whip around and head down the hill, fill up the truck for Sir Cletus. This thing, if we had a track cart, we wouldn't be able to turn around like this. It's kind of nice we only have a wheeled cart. Ooh, I'm slipping a little bit. A little slimy up top. All right, let's head down this hill. Sorry, 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 I don't like doing this, sorry. Sorry about that. To the patient people that had the most mis that have the misfortune of getting stuck behind me, I just want to say I do appreciate the patience. We do not like being out on the road, but we have to, as you guys can kind of see back there, it's just a complete mud hole. We get stuck with our semis. We wouldn't be able to get anything done. So I ask continue to have patience with the farmers that are out on the road. It's very late, it's very stressful this time of year. Thank you guys so much. There's the bottom ground right there. You can see all the cows kind of scattered out through the trees. We're literally right up on top of that hill. Farming the hilltops and farming the bottom ground, leaving the real steep stuff. This stuff is actually in timber reserve because it's even too steep for cattle. Fun fact, I can go through. I can go through all this stuff. This is all my dad's ground we're doing right now. My dad owns this, this, and everything over that way a little ways. He owns like 330, 360 acres in here. Most of that's timber though. That. That right there is why we deer hunt. Darn deer damage, plus it's a good sport and you get meat. And help control the herd. May not look like it, but man, he is on a side slope. Down we go, down the big old valley. Big old hill, I should say. Keep it in eighth gear, because it usually gets me up to full RP engine RPM with all that weight on me. I probably got 50,000 pounds on me. Some of you guys make comments why do we have such a big tractor on such a small cart. This is why. This is why. The camera doesn't do this justice, but I'm taking all this weight and all these ponies to keep me to keep this cart from pushing me down this hill. Because if I get run away, I'm going into some trees, probably flipping. Never, never good. Also pay attention because this I'll be probably be sitting right here in one of these hunting videos coming up. Or I already did. Man, do we ever need to reseed this? Ay, ay, ay. That's what we're gonna use that disc for. We're gonna disc all this, all this end up and reseed it. I don't know about you guys, but I can watch a combine work all day. Favorite time of the year is right now. I just wish it wasn't this late. But it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers. Alrighty guys, this probably my la might be my last time seeing the combine right there. At least for today, I should say, so. I'm gonna go down, Kurt's gonna take my spot. All right, the grain cart's full, truck's full, so I'm gonna take off in the truck right now. Curtis is here to relieve me. He's just walking up to go get the other pickup that Pat took down here. So I'm gonna take off in this truck. Sweet, so I just got dumped on my load. My last load for the night, moisture was 26.5. Test weight was like 52 and a half. 10, 50 bushels on, wet bushels, so it was good. So I'm going, I gotta head out. Like I said before, I got a basketball game, I got a ref. So Nathan's gonna take my spot. He just got back from college. And they'll finish up corn up in Bellevue and hopefully bring the bean head up and maybe even start beans tonight. So we'll see. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hearts and Family Farms. And here comes my car. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.